Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial on curses. Um, today we're going to be talking about figuring out more about the environment that you're working in. So, um, these three functions here are the main things we're going to be talking about. So, get yx gets the current position of the cursor um, that is in the window that you specify. Um, I'll show you, we'll talk about more more about that in a second. And then get beginning yx or get bag yx gets the um, basically the top left corner um, yx coordinate of whatever window you specify. So it gives you like the beginning corner. And then get max yx gives you basically the height and width of whatever window you specify. Um, so right now I haven't filled in the parameters because each of these takes three parameters. So the first parameter for each of them is just um, some sort of window. So in this case we're going to use standard screen which is just um, the screen that the um, program makes by default that's the main window that you do everything in so that's just gonna it's just gonna give us the cursor um, for the the main window and uh, we have to put it into two values y and x now these are variables that we must specify up here so int y and x and um, basically it's gonna take these vari uh, variables and change the value um, to whatever the cursor position is and um, when the function returns, those variables will be changed. So it, it'll put the values into y and x. <coughs> now, um, if we did get beginning y, x, it should also be the same thing for, for this specific window. So uh, hold on, we'll make some more values. So we'll do bag or y bag x bag uh, y max and So um, right here we'll do y beginning and then x beginning. Jesus, I am struggling to type tonight. <coughs> and standard screen um, y max and x max. Um, so uh, if we wanted to, we could print all of these to the screen. Um, so we'll just do print w. Um, you know, we'll throw a couple of decimals in there, so we'll get. Um, D, 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 or not decimals, but uh, digits, or whatever D stands for, um, and then we'll do Y, X, Y beginning, Y, or X beginning, wow, this is getting tedious, uh, Y max, X max, welcome to programming and curses, um, so let's make that and see what we get. So we'll get 0, 0, 0, 0, 44, and 94. So basically what this is saying is the cursor is at 0, 0, which it is. Um, at least when the program does all this stuff, it is. By the time we start moving, it changes, but um, that's... We captured them up here, so that's what the value we get is. So um, position was 0, 0, beginning yx, because it's the standard screen, is literally just the corner up here, so 0, 0. And... Um, get max yx is I guess there's 44 lines here and there's 94 rows or columns there's 44 uh, rows and 94 columns that's the terminology <coughs> so um, now this might seem like well why would I need to know any of this well what you can do is <coughs> if you say have a have a separate window um, so we'll, we'll make a new window and we'll call it win just because we're not creative at all and we'll give it a height of um, 10 lines and a width of 20 lines and then we can give it x value ten, or y value 10 x value 10 but um, say for whatever reason we didn't know where this uh, window began then you could do um, when uh, y beginning x beginning and you could get the beginning value for that also, it makes it useful because you don't know exactly how big the terminal is going to be because if they resize it, you get a different amount of lines and columns. So for get max yx, if you're trying to put something like right in the middle of the screen, what you can do is move um, print w. Um, and what you would do is you would put it at um, y max divided by 2, which is halfway down the screen and x max divided by 2 which is uh, halfway across the screen um, and 
technically speaking, it's not going to be like right in the center just because we're adding characters. But if we put hello, it should um, give us a yeah, right there's roughly in the middle. Hello. Now let's move print w um, to the middle, and then we will print out the values of um, y begin and x begin. So y. Oops. <coughs> So what we do is we do two decimal values, um, and we would pass it y begin, and then y or x begin, and run that. So we we'll make that run it. We get ten ten, which is the start y start y, start uh, x of the window. So um, that's just helpful. Uh, it's helpful for making. Um, Menus. It'll be helpful for making, you know, boxes. So you can fit them to certain areas of the screen. So you could get the if you get the max size of the screen, you could make a box that goes from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen, and all these other useful things. So um, that's why these functions can be helpful. So hopefully this was a helpful tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one.